Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Get Fit. In this video, I'm actually gonna be giving you guys some tips on how I was able to be successful in losing 82 pounds within five months. Now, a lot of people ask me, oh, how is it that you are so motivated? How do you get the drive to be so motivated to wanna to lose weight? In this video, I will tell you guys just that. So stick around if you wanna know how I did that. have been asked a lot of questions and today I just feel as though I should come here and just answer these questions for you because I know a lot of people actually lack the motivation and they actually need the inspiration for them to actually keep going so in this video I'll be answering five of the most frequent questions that I was asked lately so question number one what was my starting weight eight years ago my starting weight eight years ago was actually 242 pounds yes that's right, I weighed 242 pounds eight years ago. And I went from 242 pounds to 160 pounds within just five months. So question number two, what made me lose weight? Now, before I even answer this question, I have to comment on a status that I saw the other day. Uh, the status was, what's the reason you wanna lose weight, right? And in those thread of comments, this one particular comment stood out to me. Like this lady I commented and she was like um she wants to lose weight because her husband said that she used to look hot in her twenties now she is fighting out of shape now. Hey, like, first of all, he was wrong for even saying anything like that. Second of all, you don't have to lose weight for other people. You have to want to do it for yourself first. And when you learn to want to value yourself and give yourself that self-praise, then you're gonna automatically just get into the habit on wanting to self-love. All right, like self-love is very important and that's what I had to realize for myself. Like I did not lose weight to attract anybody. I lost weight for myself. Like I woke up one morning and I'm like, okay, Ashley, you got to do this for you. And I did that just for me. And me knowing that I was doing it just for me, I was working extra hard morning and night to try to be successful in achieving my goals. Like nothing should stop you or nothing should get in your way from achieving the goals that you are trying to achieve. You have to always stay focused and never let anyone or anything stop you. So you have to always keep that in mind. Never do things because somebody else wants you to do it. You have to want to do it for yourself to, in order to see better results. Question number three. What changes did I have to make? Oof, changes. <laughs> now, let me tell you. Let me, let me tell you guys this. In order to see any change, you have to first make changes, right? You can't want to see a change or want to see progress if you're not making any change or if you're not doing anything to accommodate that. So, by me saying that, I made a lot of changes when it pertains to my eating habits and my working out um, habits. Now, my eating habits, now, I am now a pescatarian, if you don't know that as yet. I just basically eat seafood and I'll eat eggs every so often, but I eat seafood. And I, I cut out all of the chicken, all of the pork, all of the ham, turkey. Like guys, I loved ham and turkey growing up like that was basically what I grew up on all right but I'm like okay if this is something that I want to do if I want to do a life change I have to first give these up like nobody loves macaroni or mac and cheese or fettuccine better than me or rice but I don't eat those things so my sacrifice was actually giving up the foods that I love so I switched those foods for foods that's going to be more healthy and foods that's going to be more beneficial to my body. So that was one of the changes that I made. I changed the way that I eat. That is very important. You can't continue to eat the way that you're eating and want to see changes. That's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. You have to work for whatever you want. It's not going to just happen overnight. And that's what you have to realize. And once you realize that, anything is going to happen. Trust me. My workout habits, oh my gosh. I worked out in the morning and I worked out in the night. I was never too tired. 
I was never too tired to want to work out and try to embed myself. When I went to work, I would sometimes walk Hmm. And it was like an hour and a half walk. A lot of people used to be like, oh, they would stop and they'll be like, hey, you need a ride? You need a ride? I'm like, no, because I am on a goal and I have something that I am trying to accomplish. So I allowed nothing to stop me. Whether I worked all day, that never stopped me because I know what my goal was. And the minute I got home, I worked out no matter what time it was because I was very very determined like you have to have that determination and that willpower to keep going and you have to have that willpower to let nothing stop you and nothing to get in your way and trust me like i say the first question before this who are you doing it for you have to first do it for you and when you realize that you are doing it for you no matter what time of day it is you're gonna get up and you're gonna work out or you're gonna put down a pizza and you're gonna pick up something healthier now you have to first realize who are you doing it for because when no one is around and when no one is watching you, you are probably still going to go there and eat those kind of foods. But if you were doing it for yourself, you're going to stick to your own diet that you are on. So who are you doing it for? Ask yourself that question. Actually comment in the comment section below. Let me know who is it that you want to lose weight for. What are your main goals towards yourself? Because this is your life and anybody can see a change. I've seen people came down from 600 pounds to 150 pounds. Anything is possible. Don't never let nothing stop you. Keep going and keep pushing. So if you're still watching it at this point, please just give this video a thumbs up because a lot of people could actually use this information. A lot of people need the inspiration and by you giving this video a thumbs up, like you're actually going to be sending this video out there to everyone who could actually use it. So share this video and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button because we're going to be doing a lot on Let's Get Fit. So question number four, what program did you do or what program did you follow and how? The way that I'm actually answering these questions, they will all end up making sense because number one, I had a weight goal. Like I, I've been saying that 160 was the weight goal that I wanted to be able to accomplish. So I set a goal. The second thing I did was I made a lot of changes. The third thing, you have to basically realize what is it that you are losing this weight for? Like, why are you losing this weight? What are you losing this for? Who are you losing this weight for? Like, once you already figured that out, then your program will automatically just come together and you will just follow it. Like, it'll be just simple, plain and simple like that. Like, figure out who are you losing the weight for, how much weight are you trying to lose, put your changes together, and your program would fall in place. Like, nothing happens overnight. Nothing happens overnight. Everything takes time, guys. All right, so question number five. What and who was my motivation? To be honest with you, I was my own motivation. I don't know if that makes sense, but I was really my own motivation. Because I saw myself and I'm like, this is not who I want to be for the rest of my life. This is not who I am going to be for the rest of my life. This is not it. So me looking at myself was my motivation. And I didn't just stop there. Even though I was looking at myself, I was also looking at myself as to where I would be and where my weight loss would take me. Me being young, I basically had hypertension. Like I always had high blood pressure. And the minute I lost my weight, my pressure was always, always under control. So that was one of the things I was so happy and so grateful for that I was able to embed my own health. So do it for you, do it for your health, do it for yourself. I don't mind being your motivation because I've had a lot of people coming up to me lately and telling me that I am inspiring them and I am motivating them to want to do better for themselves. I love that, but I would love it even more if you 
do it for you. We're still going to do this together. But I want you to look in the mirror and I want you to be your own motivation to want to push. Like, look at yourself. Like, give yourself a good look and be like, is this all? Like, is this really it? So that basically brought me back to last year when I started my weight loss journey again. I worked so hard eight years ago to lose that weight. And I kept that weight off for a very, very, very long time. I could have basically lost my weight again or lose my weight again without documenting it or coming here and showing you guys exactly what I'm doing. But I chose to come here on YouTube and show you guys exactly what is it that I am doing because what I do is very powerful and what I do actually works. So last year I saw myself and I'm like, okay, this isn't you. This is not you. This is not the you who you worked so hard to become. Like this is not you. I had to really like look at myself and talk to myself. And once you then get in contact with yourself and you then realize what is it that you want to change, it's going to happen. Like it's going to happen. Like that was me last year. Like I started out weighing 215 pounds when I started this channel. 215 pounds, guys. I am now at 183 pounds. It might not seem like it's a lot, but it's a big difference to compare to where I was. Now, my main goal is actually to be able to be 160 pounds again. So I am 23 pounds away from being successful in achieving my goals. Like anything is possible. Like you can be any weight and you can get down to any size that you want. But you first have to know who are you doing it for. Now those are the five most frequent questions that I've been asked lately. So if you have any questions, like I say, feel free to ask me anything because I will, I, I am here. Like I am here for you guys. So if you have any questions, ask me, like send me an email at letsgetfit.change at gmail.com or even comment in the comment section below. Like I answer every one of my comments, like leave a comment, like tell me who are you doing this for? All right. Comment in the comment section below. For those of you that actually have a sweet tooth and find it very hard to stick on a to stick to a diet like check out my anabolic desserts guys you can still basically eat cheesecake birthday cake waffles brownies you can still basically eat these things and gain muscles and lose weight at the same time like i have a sweet tooth so like i said we're doing this together so whenever i come up with recipes i am going to be sharing these with you guys so stick around subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up like a lot of people need the motivation and by you giving this video a thumbs up like you're sending this video over there to everyone who could use it like share this video guys like, if you haven't as yet hit that subscribe button because i'm going to be coming to you with more videos like this like give this video a thumbs up also check out my teespring website the link will be in the description below like i have a lot of gym wears from hoodie shirt punts bandanas everything that you need it will be on my teespring website and everything will have let's get fit logo engraved on it like i say the let's get fit logo is not just a logo it is actually a motivation like it is actually inspiration itself like once you wear that you're always going to be reminded that okay you have to get fit and that you're on a mission and by you even wearing those let's get fit logos like you're going to be motivating everybody else around you because whenever they see that they're going to be like oh okay yes this is what i'm here for to get fit so check out my teespring website guys the link will be in the description below give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a calorie comparison video like it's I have a lot of things that you actually can make wiser and smarter choices with. Like for instance, like I have ice cream that I eat that is only 80 calories and it's way better than actually eating ice cream that is about 400 calories. So give this video a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below if you want me to show you wiser choices that you can actually eat. now. If you haven't said, go on over and check out our family channel, it's J and A every day. Like if you want me, 
if you want to see how I really am, like go on over and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like hit the subscribe button, guys. And hit the subscribe button to let's give it because we are on a journey and we are on a mission and we are going to be successful. Like do not quit. Like keep going and keep pushing. If you ever need someone to talk to, don't hesitate to email me like send me email the email will be in the description all right so once again thank you for watching and stay safe